last few days I was trying to get a nice time lapse and some good footage from the bridge but the weather was shitty and hopefully today I can finally mount the camera on the railing overlooking the sunset and the sold out place here in uh, Zefespiele Merbisch and I want to get a nice picture and actually I will do, be doing a time lapse in raw format trying to get everything trying to get some action here on the stage and actually completely sold out audience and setting sun I don't know, as I said, I've been trying to do it for the last three weeks either the weather or other conditions didn't allow it so I, I was not able especially after day one or day two after I mounted the camera the rain simply started to fall it was like a rainfall like in India so I was simply running here to get the camera out I mean it survived I was wet the camera was wet but we both survived so let's hope today will be better it is windy it's getting cloudy we'll see but if I don't try it I will never get it we are basically in the middle of the whole audience middle of the stage I don't know about 12 15 meters above the stage so I'm going to use uh, one DX with a wireless transmitter WFT6 with a fisheye lens just to get absolutely everything and it looks stunning at the moment but before we do this there are a couple of things we have to do first of all what I'm going to use there will be a Manfrotto ball head attached to a Manfrotto clamp which I absolutely love this tool and on top of that I have two iron strings which I will attach to the camera you can see one is already went through the Manfrotto clamp so I want to wrap it around the railing so if anything goes wrong the camera will not fall on people's heads I mean security is an issue here so let's start with this so I have the clamp with the wire thread and get it really tight now this is a stronger one this is a smaller one because the big one will not will not get through the this part here so now I will make a loop this will not fall whatever happens it will just hang down like a few centimeters under the bridge but it will never follow anybody's head so before I even start mounting it let's just make sure I have it secured and then I can do the rest so now this is all secured let's make sure this is all nice and tight and let's hope it doesn't rain tonight again because I've, this is what I'm doing third time Excellent. And it just really it has to be really tight. Now it hasn't fallen. Let's just make another loop. And it's going to stay here hopefully for the rest of the night I hope it doesn't rain as I said so at the moment I'm just doing a framing and now the, the idea of using wireless first of all I want to use a time-lapse of course I left the I left the intervalometer downstairs so I will have to come back yes it is downstairs anyway this this we will do later the idea is with the intervalometer I will be doing a picture every 10 5 10 seconds I still have to make the calculation I think last week I was trying to do with a seven seconds delay 
to make a nice time lapse of the setting sun over the over the edge of the tribunes with a full set of people and with an action here below me but for the time being let me just do a framing and uh, i will test the wireless so with the wireless with the wi wireless function it's not only that i can trigger the camera which i don't want to do every seven seconds so that's why i will leave intervalometer but with the wireless i can control the change of the camera settings and because it's connected with the network i can be in the office i can be downstairs i can be anywhere i can without touching the camera i can change the iso settings when the light changes so i want to have f actually i'm using a fisheye so I don't really care. So I'm at the 15 millimeters. Let's go to. We're about 15, 14 millimeters. I'm shooting in full raw, even if it's because even that I'm shooting for a time lapse. Some of the pictures I might want to use as pictures. So I want to have a full, absolutely the maximum quality. So I will be shooting full raw. So let's do, so I'm in e AV mode, F80, and at the moment it tells me 120 feet of a second, but it will keep changing. So here is the wireless WEFT6 transmitter. First of all, auto power disable. I don't want, to I don't want the camera to switch off after one minute and I cannot control it. So it, I, I, I am able to see it what's the battery status and I will if I need I will come back and I will replace the battery so we're going to the wireless network settings so communication settings at the moment is disabled now I will do enable you can start seeing that the the light here starts to blink now because I did it already a few days ago so I know that my set is set for, which I saved it before, but what it what means, I am connected. So the camera is at the moment acting as uh, nothing else like HTTP server. So it has its own IP address and I'm connected to the local network here in Merbisch, Verspiele. And uh, so I got an IP address already. So it's 10707. I created a user access user which I can connect from the laptop which we will do in a minute just to double check the settings and of course before I had to create uh, I have to connect with the wireless I had to put the password for the network but once it's done it's done it's saved in the camera you can reuse it so basically that's it here is the view because you cannot see anything here Let's get into the house. Let's try to see what we have on the laptop. In Anatevka. And we can control what's on the bridge of Anatevka. This small black point is actually the camera where I mounted it. We are now in the temporary office, about 150 to 100 meters away from the camera. We are still using the same network. I just network. I just typed the same IP address. I click camera control. I bet I'm getting the settings. I see what is the battery level. Okay, it's still F8. Now I click the preview. And it takes a moment. What happens on the camera is now the mirror goes up and uses sort of a live view. And this is what I'm seeing now. So what does it tell me? It's one three twentieth of a second. So manual focus F8 ISO 100. But I see here the the shadows. But otherwise it looks good. So this is now five o'clock. So in about an hour from now the sun is here. In about an hour I will pull up plug in the intervalometers and I will set up the camera to run every seven seconds. So I will get the, the, the sun coming all the way from here down here for the sunset, hopefully, if it doesn't rain again.